This is problem number six of a multiple choice problem from China's 2024 college entrance exam. It is regarding functions. Here we have a piecewise defined function here when x is negative is a quadratic function with negative sign and when it's positive here it is a combination of exponential and an algorithm here we are given that this is strictly increasing function on the real numbers okay it is important to know the property of quadratics so especially when this is negative the quadratic will go downwards right so the so general shape would be something like this the vertex here let's call it x0 y0 which is achieving the maximum value here and we know that for the function here is going to be strictly increasing on the left hand side and then when it reaches this vertex it starts to go decreasing here all right so what we're given here is that when x is negative number it has to be strictly increasing now in this particular case that's indeed the case right St strictly increasing up to this point of course depending on the value of a curve could be moving you know towards the left right? it could be something like this and then going down and this is not an out because the function would be increasing and then start to decreasing when x is still elective and up to this point right so it's desirable to have something like this right so let's uh, figure it out through algebra so f in this case equal negative x squared minus 2ax minus a of course x is negative number here we can we can and complete the square by looking at x square plus 2ax plus a right so here by completing the square what you get is x plus a square you have extra term you can subtract a square and then plus a so this whole thing is going to be negative x plus a square plus a square minus a so from here we know the vertex here like a zero would be negative a when this term will go away and the value of y would be a square minus a so x zero is going to be negative a and y zero is going to be a square minus a now so some special value here when a equals zero then this term goes away this function becomes like x square and you know x, x square is going to be so it would be would be something like this this would be y equal negative x square, right? So this is the left hand side. So in order f for it to be strictly increasing earlier, we know that this x zero must be on the right plane or zero here in this case. So which means negative a, right, which is x zero value, must be greater or equal to zero. So which means a has been less or equal to zero so with this you know that a is a possibility this is not possible right a cannot be a positive number so we we're going to choose a or b how about the right hand side both exponential and logarithm are strictly increasing e to the x power it's going to be this logarithm is going to be regular logarithm is going to be this one but here we have log one plus x shift it to the left so it's going to be something like this something like this so on the left hand side if it's something like this the function we end up with okay for selective value here it's going to be this and then for the positive value it's going to be that all right so this will violate the fact that it is strictly increasing over the real number so which means this particular value cannot be too tall right this has to be smaller than than one okay so when x equals zero here you plug in to the equation here when x equals zero this goes away this goes away is elective a so which means elective a has to be smaller than one all right combine the two results so this would be greater than negative one so a belong to negative one and zero interval here 
So the answer is B. Let's look at the decimal graphs for this, right? So on the right hand side, we have this exponential equation here, and which is the green arrow here, right? So this is this, this part is the right hand side, and when the left hand side it depends on the parameter a, right? So in this case, the function is no longer seriously increasing because this is higher than the expo exponential part, right? If you slide it further, right, just getting worse, and then. At this point, the equal, this is a equal negative one, right? And here, up to zero, on the left hand is strictly increasing, right? Then you have increasing and then decreasing, the violates the condition, right? So the good range is when a is between negative one and zero, right?